Right, um, I think it's going to be the last one of me from today, or from at least into, until tonight. Um, I've just uh, read a rumour, or, or I suppose it is rumour at the minute, I can't really find any truth in it at the minute, or any confirmation. But Arthur Abraham's meant to be fighting, St- or meant to be in order to be fighting Stieglitz for a fourth time. Why? Why? There is no need for that fight. You know, the whole little trilogy was ended nicely. You know, now it just seems like they're going to bore it on. First, I mean, let's look at this fight a little bit more cleanly, right? The first fight between Arthur Abraham and Stieglitz, I actually thought Stieglitz got a little bit screwed. I thought Stieglitz won that first fight, and so did quite a few other people. Um, hence the reason why Abraham, when Abraham got the decision, uh, a rematch was, of course, put in place. Uh, it wasn't an immediate rematch, but a rematch was put in place. Now, in that rematch, Stieglitz, obviously, I think, did he cut off Abraham? Stopped him by default, really. But Stieglitz, you know, it was a great performance from Stieglitz in that second fight. Only lasted four rounds. Uh, and, you know, the way he got the victory kind of kind of karma for the first fight, if you like. When off Abraham, I thought, really stole it. Uh, the third fight, I thought, was quite conclusive. Uh, I thought Arthur Abraham, even though the judges' scorecards bizarrely had it a bit closer, um, I thought Arthur Abraham clearly won the third fight, to be honest. Uh, it was probably the best performance that he put in during the whole three of the fights in that third fight. So why do we need a fourth fight? You know, it's just pointless. Why fight Stieglitz again? Why? And the only reason I can think of why is because there's a chap called Gilberto Ramirez who's an untested um, treasure at super middleweight, as it were, who a lot of people, including myself, think is going to be a really good fighter and he's going to be in some serious contention of a world title towards the late, late end of this year or going into next year. And he's the type of fighter that can cause problems, big problems, to anyone. Uh, super middleweight I believe at the minute because obviously we don't know yet he's untried and untested of course and you can only go on what you see in him a fighter and what I've seen of him so far I think he can give anyone at super middleweight a tough run for their money um, but someone like Arthur Abraham I think he'd probably enjoy it you know he, I think he, someone like Gilberto Ramirez can go out to Germany and just completely make Abraham look stupid for 12 rounds to be honest I think he'd have too much speed you know height keep the distance he has got a bit of power about him, so he'll be able to back Abraham up if he felt a little bit. You know, trying to want to, if Abraham wants to come in on the inside and charge him a little bit, you know, unlike Abraham's recent opponents like Paul Smith, uh, Ramirez does hit a lot harder. Um, so it's kind of I'm asking questions here because if that's been ordered by the WBO, it kind of seems to me like it's a little bit of a well, we'll, we'll do people a favour, we'll give them a payday, we'll keep Ramirez out of the picture. But not only that, from a boxing fan, uh, boxing fan's point of view, you know, why, why would you go and pay money to go and watch that again? Right? Serious now. Well, let, 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 let's look at fighters that fight each other more than once, yeah? Carl Frotch, Mikael Kessler, first fight in Henning in, in, uh, in Henning in Denmark was a brilliant fight. You know, it was a close fight. Personally, I feel that the right decision was made on the night of giving Kessler the decision. I think he deserved it. And I think he deserved his victory. Um, just vice versa, you know, when Carl Froch and Kessler fought in London in the rematch, I thought Froch deserved that one. Okay, so, but at that point then, people are saying, oh, you know, rubber match might be good. But the interest in general, even though there's some fans asking for the rubber match, the interest in general has now gone down there. Because Froch is being convincingly, the revenge has taken place. There's no cause for a third fight, really. Okay. Like I say, in the Abraham Stieglitz situation, right, after the first fight, there was a call for a rematch because, obviously, Stieglitz got a little bit screwed on the judges' scorecards in the first fight and a lot of people's opinions. In that second fight, you know, Stieglitz just kind of, you know, blitzed Abraham and it was stopped, like I say, I think it was sure it was stopped by a bad cut. I, don't know, I can't really remember now, actually. It was a couple of years ago. But I'm sure it was stopped by a bad cut that was caused by a punch. And hence, the Eagles got the technical knockout decision in the fourth round. Right? So, after that, there was another call for a rematch because it was one apiece. The rubber match was in place. It was still competitive. Right? 
The the fight wasn't a convincing knockout stoppage of Arf Haban by any means, you know. So I think the third fight did make sense, and the third the third fight took place. The third fight, Stieglitz got knocked down in the twelfth round, I believe, and it was a convincing, in my opinion, a convincing performance from Arf Haban, and a convincing way to end the trilogy with Abraham winning the trilogy 2-1, even though many would argue he shouldn't have won um, the first fight anyway. But what I'm saying is now, is that third fight was a conclusive ending. Why do we need a fourth? Okay. I think even fans in Germany, who are massive Arf Abraham fans, and of course Stieglitz has a fan base in Germany, of course. Okay. I think even both sets of fans are going to be looking at and scratching, hand, uh, scratching heads and saying, well, am I really going to pay to go and watch this for a fourth time? If this is true, like I say, I can't really find 100% confirmation that this fight is happening yet. But if this is true, it's a joke from the WBO. I don't want to see crap decisions happening like this. You know, make someone mandatory who Abraham has not fought before. Make someone mandatory who has been fighting to earn that mandatory position, not somebody who has already held that title and tried to regain it back and regained it. No, give it to someone fresh, you know. Paul Smith was a voluntary for Arthur Abraham, okay, in that second fight. That was a voluntary. Arthur Abraham is due a mandatory now, right? Because he's not going to fight a unification fight, let's be honest. He doesn't want nothing to do with Andre Ward again. He doesn't want anything to do with Carl Frosch again, right? And he's he's not going to get a shot at someone like James DeGale or Andre Durrell, the winner of that fight, of course, or an Anthony Durrell in the near future. I don't think he would want them. Because he well, obviously won Andre Duell again anyway, because the first fight, Andre Duell actually knocked Abraham down before Abraham decided to do Andre Duell on the deck, um, and which caused obviously Andre Duell um, some injury problems and uh, head problems. So I don't want this fight to happen. I think it's a disgrace if the WBO are ordering it. Though, to be honest with you, I think Abraham should just retire in a couple of years anyway. He's getting shot porn, he's not the most entertaining of fighters. I want to see, I want to see the super middleweight really take to light in the next couple of years. You know, the old guard stepping down. Carl Froch, uh, I have no doubt, has only got one or two fights left in him, uh, and that will be a passing of the guard for the British fighters, uh, or the passing of the torch, if you like. Which I'm sure James De Gale will take that torch with pride. Uh, I can't really see George Groves being the next torch holder for Britain. Um, and then going from there. It's going to be an exciting division full of young, hungry super middleweights. With the exception of Andre Ward, who was just King B at the minute and can't get a fight for whatever reason. Or I did a video on that the other day. And my decision uh, and my opinion still stands that Andre Ward should fight Triple G next. Because it's the fight that makes the most sense for both fighters. Anyway... Let me know what you guys think. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe. Take it easy. Bye-bye.